Hello everyone, my name is Philippe Fournier, associate producer on Far Cry 5. And I'm Mari Knadel, a scriptwriter on Far Cry 5. Today we're going to take you through our extended E3 demo and highlight some of the features that we're really excited about. Welcome to Hope County, Montana. This is the Holland Valley, a section of farmland that the project at Eden's Gate is using as their breadbasket. With us in this demo, we have our loyal dog, Boomer, as your fang for hire. For now, I just can't resist. The setup is too perfect. I'm going to use this tractor against the cult. The cult is stealing supplies and kidnapping people, using them to prepare for a doomsday that's really just around the corner. We're going to put you in the shoes of a rookie deputy and drop you into the heat of the conflict. In Far Cry 5, we want to give you tools that feel like they belong in Montana in your fight against a doomsday cult. <laughs> And now we're going to make a quick getaway in case reinforcements arrive. Boomer is just one of the many allies you can recruit using our four hire system. Each of them has special abilities, and it's up to you to select which companion to bring along for the ride. Whether you're just exploring the open world or fighting cultists head on in a specific location. Cute dog. My dad would love to know what type of breed is Boomer? No, seriously. His um, breed is Mutt, but he is um, mostly blue healer by the looks of him. Montana is a great place to fish, and it was important for us to create a system where we allowed players to live that experience. In the rivers and lakes of Hope County, you will find many different types of fish. It's a really good way for players to gain experience and also just get away from the conflict. And here we see the player needs to fight a little bit to get the fish. Nice, catch of the day on the menu. So it's nice to unwind with some fishing every now and then, but we know the cult isn't taking any breaks because they have an apocalypse to prepare for. As you explore the county, you'll come across cultists working hard to serve Joseph, the father of their cult. They're taking food and supplies for their bunkers, they're blocking the roads so no one can escape, and they're destroying resources so the resistance can't use them. And it looks like we spotted something up ahead. Yeah, let's take out our binoculars. All right, it seems like there's a small group of cultists there, Mari. All right, so this looks like a forced baptism. What do you say we get in there, Phil? Yeah, let's do it. I think the best approach would be to go in stealthily through the river with Boomer by our side. I think we're well equipped to get rid of those two guys. Here we're using one of the iconic weapons featured in Far Cry 5, the revolver. And you'll be able to customize those weapons by adding attachments or changing the color scheme and hunt the cult in style. Go, Boomer! All right, Boomer showing off one of his one of his skills. This can really be a game changer in a fight where you're a bit low of ammo or you don't have the right weapon for the situation. He's a good dog. You know, Boomer's a great all-rounder who can support any play style. Even without your commands, he'll fetch guns for you, take down cultists in a fight, and he'll tag enemies and animals from far away with his keen sense of smell. The game being set in America, it was important for us to bring a wide variety of vehicles from pickups to tractors to big rigs like this one. This one is specifically called the Widowmaker. It's like a battering ram on wheels, and it's a great tool to create chaos and take down enemy vehicles or roadblocks. And it looks like we got one here. Let's do it. Pedal to the middle. <laughs> that boss bobblehead didn't even move. We're so good. We got him glued onto the dash. That's it. Boom. So it sounds like we're listening to the cult radio station. I got to say, some of their hymns are pretty catchy, Phil. Now we're pulling up to Ryan Sun's Aviation. This is the home of Nick Rye. He's a crop duster and a family man. He's doing what he can to keep his family safe and keep the cult from getting his plane, but it looks like they've beaten us here, so let's jump right in. There's no time to waste. 
and let Boomer like kind of create distractions for us to get behind cover and help Nick fight the cultists. In Far Cry 5, you'll need to improvise and choose from a vast arsenal of weapons and find elements in the environment to take down the enemy. There we go. So we just took down the last cultist at Nick Rise using my favorite stealth weapon, a baseball bat. Sometimes you can hear Boomer growling when he feels a threat nearby. And Boomer is just part of Far Cry 5's living world we've built, where there's always something, or someone, around you whether you notice it or not. This means you'll always need to be prepared. stand his ground and defend you from predators as there are a lot of moments for the player to hunt or be hunted. And we've built a deep ecosystem that represents Montana's wilderness. So, you know, we've seen ducks, um, a sturgeon, deer, and this is just a small sample of all of the wild animals that you'll encounter in Hope County. So now we've jumped into Nick Rye's plane. It's been in his family for generations, and with it, we'll take to the sky to destroy some uh, cult silos that are hoarding explosives. The world that we've built is larger than any Far Cry before, and for the first time, you can explore the world in any direction that you choose right from the start. In this demo, we're in Holland Valley, and this is just one small part of Hope County. Montana is called Big Sky Country after all. Flying is a great way to travel, explore the county, and scout out new opportunities. And also blow things up. Look at that go! Nice work, partner. Go get the other one. Oh, looks like the cult has decided to intervene. That plane belongs to a Chosen. Now, the Chosen are elite soldiers, and it's their job to basically crush any threat to the project at Eden's Gate. So, if we've done enough to anger the cult, we're going to engage a little dogfight with them and show them what we think of them. That's right. Even in the air, there's a lot of opportunities for the player to, uh, you know, find or discover or get chased by... Get by discovered. Or get discovered, yeah, totally. Uh, hunt or be hunted, as we call it. I think right now we are the predator. Yep, we got them on the run. They're smoking. And we did it. Well done. So thanks for watching, and we're really looking forward to showing you more. Thank you. And I think you guys want to, well, we want to use Boomer, obviously, but also uh, the, our, our friend playing here is going to take a slightly more... Uh, long-range approach exactly. at the beginning of this right. playthrough. And that's one of the principles of Far Cry, right, is that you can play however you want to play, and there's a lot of 360 different 360 degrees, right? I mean, we learned that on some of the games we've built in the past, of building a game and building an environment where you can attack it any way you want. In this case, you've got Boomer, who has the ability to actually tag all these characters and be able to help you figure out how you want to attack. Now, I believe that there is a bet in place where uh, if any death happens uh, on screen that is not the enemy, <laughs> yes, exactly. we beat up the driver. Yep. Yep. Max is going to be in trouble if he dies. We've got to watch carefully. So he can attack it any way he wants. And what's cool, though, as you can see, is that what he's able to do now with Boomer is he's able to tag everybody. But what's really cool about Boomer is once you set him loose, he really does become a weapon under himself. And you can basically kill these guys and begin to take the weapons from them. Let's see what Max does. That's the father. What he does is he actually he's just taking the guy down. So Boomer's kicked it off. And now he can send Boomer pretty much anywhere. I think the stealth, the stealth uh, section over. is over it's now. It's over. Boomer is uh, lit it into up. the new chapter. Yep. I like that the dog kind of decided when it was yeah. time for, uh, for yep. things to get. Always trust your dog. And there's some gun emplacements here to, to make matters more fun. Yeah. Tear it up. And you can see civilians, civilians are actually getting out. I mean, you rescued a couple people just by being able to push back on the kelp. They're going to get in vehicles, they're going to act like normal people, they're going to get the hell out of there. 
and then Boomer's gonna step in. Now reinforcements have showed up. So now you gotta think about, all right, how do I spin that plate a little differently? How do I get it so all those guys that showed up in that cult vehicle, maybe you can send Boomer in and basically try and take some of those guys out. If you had pulled your parachute in that very short jump, would anything bad happen? Okay, maybe we'll try it next time. Oh, jeez. Perfect. Except for all the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see. Go, go, Boomer! Take him down. Good nice. old reliable Boomer. Yeah. It seems like if you name your dog Boomer, you're kind of setting the animal up for a certain And type. when you do a lot of this stuff with the wingsuit and other things that you do that are stunts in the world, you're actually paying homage to him, and you can unlock stuff based off his personality from like the 1960s and the 1970s. That was a PlayStation Live for me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Heard it here first. There you I'm go. sure Dan's colleagues are just <laughs> yeah. over the moon. Yeah. Um, yep. And, you know, I, I know we're already, you know, a little bit through the demo here, Dan, but we didn't really talk about the father and the right. cult yet. Right. But that's obviously a huge point yep. uh, in Far Cry 5. Right. It's sort of the antagonist of the series. Yeah, I think, you know, the people know that we've worked really hard. And, and when you think about it from the standpoint of Far Cry 3 and Bob, to cobble together this idea of the father. And then we started to think about, okay, who do we get to play this? And we got a lot of interesting options in terms of casting. And then we found a guy by the name of Greg Brick, who is unbelievable. And this guy is spooky. He's a fantastic actor. He came in, he's playing our father. And the thing about him is, is that when you meet him, he was the one actor that I met that I actually believed he could bring me into a cult. And that was all the difference. Plus, he doesn't blink, and it's really spooky. Like at all? At all. It's weird, yeah. That's another exclusive. Yeah. I Wait, really, though? Does he have, like, eye drops that he's... No, no, no. He's just intense. In? He's okay. really... He, you know, he's really good at his craft, and he's intense. And when he brings the father, he brings it all. That's amazing. And, you know, Dan, this is amazing because compared to the footage we were just seeing, our driver here is already... It's so much different from what yep. we were seeing before. Yep. Different game. Different, different pathways yep. through, different encounters. That's what we wanted, and it wasn't just in terms of a single area. I mean, we want that for all the regions in the game, that you're going to meet different communities, you're going to have different guns for hire, different opportunities, that you can attack it. I mean, Far Cry has been about freedom, opportunity and surprise and that's what we bring and 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 these partners these co-op partners partners are, are